However, there's one disappointment. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. This is Era. I'm at Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris, France. I received some news from Boston Dynamics and decided to make a short video about it while waiting for my flight. As you can observe, Boston Dynamics is currently demonstrating highly lifelike movements. Originally, they impressed us with a range of actions such as executing somersaults using conventional hydraulic actuators. But now, with their new version named New Atlas, they have shifted to utilizing entirely electric actuators. So, what does this imply? The traditional physical movements, the actuator and robotic manipulator movements, all of these are now electrically driven, allowing for more natural and sustainable actions based on AI. And look, my waist can rotate 360 degrees. Currently, the development of humanoid robots, including those from China and Tesla's Optimus, often results in rather strange appearances. However, Boston Dynamics has significantly improved the potential for creating robots with more natural movements thanks to their ability to leverage NVIDIA's robot platform. Let's analyze this from that perspective. At GTC 2025, during Jensen Huang's keynote, there was a lot of discussion about the physical configuration of these robots. Ultimately, it comes down to this. As you can see, the ability to train them. For robots to learn the actions they need to perform, we must have a platform that enables learning from humans or various training data. Additionally, we require a platform for running simulations and conducting experiments to achieve emulations. However, Boston Dynamics has often been perceived as somewhat vulnerable in terms of commercialization and mass production. Because maintaining traditional hydraulic actuators is challenging, and one of the most fascinating aspects of this year's GTC was that many robots are already using NVIDIA's platform. This platform can handle everything from simulation and training to actual deployment, meaning the entire humanoid robot industry can operate on NVIDIA's platform, Also, the ability to speed up development was very interesting. Nevertheless, Boston Dynamics, which has extensively trained the movements of traditional actuators and the peculiar actions of robots, encountered some difficulties in mass production. However, with the advent of an AI-based learning environment, they have swiftly mitigated their weaknesses, enabling them to fully leverage their actuators and platform through AI. Boston Dynamics found a great partner in NVIDIA. They can now use all their actuators and platforms to advance their tech. In this regard, while mass production seems somewhat difficult at the moment, there is an optimistic outlook that it might soon become a reality. In reality, while I have covered vision processing, deep fusion transformer models, and similar topics extensively in my previous videos, Boston Dynamics' true strength lies in the kinematics and mechanical design of their robots. Boston Dynamics is famous for its skill in designing robots, which includes their mechanical structure, joints, and the use of sensors such as gyro sensors and actuators to perceive their surroundings, all achieved through meticulous hardware refinement. Rather than merely focusing on AI learning, Boston Dynamics excels because they have always understood and crafted the physical mechanisms expertly. This deep comprehension allows them to execute complex movements and maintain balance, which are not easily achieved by software improvements alone, but through extensive years of research experience. This is what sets them apart. However, the ability to test in diverse environments, such as those provided by NVIDIA's emulation platforms or within the metaverse, is quite significant when considering the straightforward application and expansion of AI-based control algorithms. Then, it could gradually gain the competitive edge it has been missing. At this GTC, NVIDIA also showcased those, they also showcased those adorable robots, which were specifically designed to use NVIDIA GPUs to train the AI models that are essential for enabling their movement. Also, to move those trained models, there must be a processor inside the robot, right? The robot itself also uses NVIDIA's processor. In the end, AI dictates the movement of each actuator. By merging data from a variety of sensors, such as LiDAR and vision processing sensors, along with the information derived from large language models, the processor can effectively manage commands. This capability is not limited to Boston Dynamics alone, but extends to other companies utilizing NVIDIA's platform as well. When compared to companies like Tesla Optimus that are pursuing vertical integration, this could provide an opportunity to accelerate growth and movement, thereby securing a competitive advantage. This does not mean it is final. It shows the possibility. I am not saying Boston Dynamics is the best. What I am trying to convey is that if you possess a comprehensive platform similar to what NVIDIA offers, you can indeed accomplish those tasks. However, the current challenge for Boston Dynamics is to swiftly train AI models and effectively integrate them. These models need to be capable of sending real-time commands to actuators based on specific data, ensuring a seamless blend of software and hardware. Observing the current development speed, it seems they are advancing at an impressively rapid pace. If you look back, you will see that this video was released not too long ago, and when you watch it, it becomes quite fascinating. There were some parts that felt a bit strange, but gradually, you can see it learning more human-like behaviors. Austin Dynamics robots can rotate fully. This sets them apart from other humanoids. It can rotate 360 degrees. It uses different joints from humans to maintain balance. 
In order to achieve optimal balance, the AI model must continuously learn and adapt effectively, ensuring that the robot's hardware components are well coordinated. This requires a deep understanding of the physical operations of actuators and the integration of various sensors. By leveraging NVIDIA's platform, there is significant potential for advancements in this area. One thing to consider is how feasible it is for mass production. While it appears to be a very sturdy robot, can it leverage the advantages of humanoids to reduce costs through vertical integration? Additionally, we need to evaluate how efficiently it uses battery power while operating in low power mode. Yes, so I briefly gave you a rundown at the airport, and now humanoids are becoming quite common. Now things like doing somersaults, spinning around and dancing are no longer surprising. Ultimately, it's about how effectively the service can be utilized, which can also be viewed as NVIDIA's platform competition. This has been Error. <laughs>